Begin by removing the strapping that holds the easel legs together. That should be able to be pulled through. And then proceed to extend the easel by pulling up the midsection whilst holding onto the legs and drawing them down, as you just saw. And now each of the legs have a portion that can extend further. Just make sure that they're loose first and pull them out as far as possible, making sure that you tighten each of those inner extensions as you move them down. There's also a middle extension, but sometimes it gets caught on the mid frame. So make sure that you lift it first before trying to shift that extension down the middle. And once again, shift that as far as possible down the leg. And now on the sides, you'll notice there are two uh, knobs to tighten. Make sure that they're as tight as possible. And this aligns the legs on the side of the easel to the frame in the center. Now proceed to move down the braces that will be at the bottom that hold the easel from the bottom and make sure that those are loose before shifting them down as far the leg as possible. And then again, once all those changes have been made, make sure that all those knobs have been tightened before standing it up. When standing it up, the middle leg should be at the back, supporting the back of the easel, whilst the left and the right legs uh, should be at the front of the easel, supporting it from the front. And make some adjustments as you see fit, just to make sure that the easel is balanced. You want to make sure that that mid section, that mid frame, is set as close to vertical as possible. And the reason we do this is so that the easel doesn't actually hit the back of the canvas. Now when you're putting the canvas on top of the easel, you'll need to tighten those two knobs again so that the easel doesn't actually shift because of the weight. And again, we've set it close to vertical so it doesn't hit the back of the canvas. On the top, you want to loosen that brace and then make it flush with the easel. And once it's flush to tighten that as far as possible. So that's what the canvas and the easel look like once all those adjustments have been made. And now the final piece is the signage that goes with the easel. Just to give it a bit more of a description, it's a frame with an elastic on the back. All you need to do is stretch that elastic so it can wrap around the top part of the easel and it should rest there nicely and from the back it looks like so and that's how the easel looks like when it's finally set up